All summer long, I'm going fishing, fishing. Invite your friends and your kids. We about to kick it, kick it. Living a has life. That's right, we living, living. Put your hater back a zone. Don't see no limit, limits. All summer long, I'm going fishing, fishing. Invite your friends and your kids. We about to kick it, kick it. Living a has life. That's right, we living, living. Put your hater back a zone. Don't see no limit. What's going on, YouTube Fisher fam? It's your boy Has back at it again with another episode. And today, I'm out here on the lake, and I'm fishing for a different species—not catfish, but some bass fish on some top water. We're going after them, and what we're using today is the uh, Guggen uh, Hound. Um, it's a nice slender uh, uh, triple treble hooks right here and um, kind of mimicking uh, cicada. So we're gonna see if we can't get on some fish today on some top water. Now, I don't have much luck catching fish on top water. Um, I've only caught them probably less than 10 times. But I think the uh, top water bite is gonna be on fire this year because the cicadas are here, they're active. They're, you know, floating around, flying around. You know, once they hit the water, everything is coming up to tear them up. So let's see if we can't get on some. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned. Let's get on some fish. All right, guys, today we are using a Guggen's Hound uh, for top water to imitate uh, the cicada that is right next to me. Now, cicadas come in different sizes. This one's a smaller guy, but bass love them they love the tear of cicadas so if you can't get it, your hold of cicadas this lure right here the guggen hound is your next best thing for top water it's a walking bait um but it does have a little pop it does make some popping too as well and we're gonna give it a test today and see if we can't catch some bass on it all right guys we are at the pond well, lake, pond, whatever you want to call it. It's actually Gunner's Lake. This is the name of it. And we're trying to get on some bass. Specifically, some topwater bass. It's early in the morning. Sun isn't even all the way up yet. It's about almost 7. And we're going to see if we can't get on some. So let's just start first cast of the morning I'm not gonna say day because we're not even close to the day yet and we're gonna see if we can't get on some top water action the top water bite should be fire this year with the uh, cicadas in town so I'm hoping And let me show you what I'm using. I'm using a hound. It's a Guggen bait popper. And um, it has a rattle in there and three mean treble hooks. You guys know about them treble hooks, man. They are vicious. I'm not gonna stay too long at any area. Just gonna kind of fan cast and uh, try to locate these uh, these bass. Not sure where they're located at. Uh, this is just this is just wrong right here. I got a rat tail of this crap. Oh my god, that's just that's just wrong right there. That's just wrong. These bugs are already a problem this morning, and we're just getting started. Go away. Leave me alone, bugs. Ooh. Sorry, duckies. But I'm fishing. Oh, no. Okay. They missed my line. <laughs> Thought they was going to hit it. That's the one thing about these trebles, man. They get hooked on everything. Frogs. They're a lot easier 
to cast they don't get hooked up nowhere near as much as this bait does but the hookup ratio is also not that great on frogs as as well but we're gonna start with this hound because i've never caught anything on this hound yet so i'm trying to there we go oh we got one already let's go let's go first top water bass of the year baby and we're recording yes come on relax so i can get these hooks out of you first top water bass of the year and it's a nice decent one uh, mouth not that big but he sure got that whole he got the tail end of it that last treble hook he barely nipped at the tail and we got him guys we got him <laughs> that's a good sign already to be catching some bass on the top water and send him on his way there we go he's gone already look at this koi fish orange on the front with the white body and then the orange tail orange along the side this is that's the fish i want to catch right there there's several of them in here that's crazy that is crazy guys one day i'm gonna come back here and try to target these koi fish in this pond one day soon one day soon and but then when i come back i probably won't be able to find them but sheesh i would love to catch that i'll return them back i'm not going to keep them i just want to catch them get a nice picture of them and return them back all right let's get back to fishing all right this spot looks pretty juicy i think we might be able to pull something over here Go ahead, give us a cast down that way. Perfect. Got one, guys. We got ourselves another one. Come on. Come on. Let's get him through all the muck. There we go. Oh, this is a better one. This is definitely my PB of the year so far. Ah, relax, buddy. There we go. The biggest bass of the year so far. Let's get all this muck off this thing. Whew. Bass number two on the top water action. Look at the spots on this guy. He's probably like 1.3, maybe 1.5 pounds. He's a nice, healthy, nice, chunky bass. He's been eating good. He's been eating good. nice not a big mouth on him short bass but healthy he's eating good so let's let him go make sure we got that yes we did that's two bass right there in 50 minutes guys and i had looked away and missed the blow up <laughs> then i just felt something heavy on my line and i just started reeling into it there we go Let's see if there's not another bass over there. They like this lure. They definitely like this lure. So, first one we caught close to the bank. That one we caught out in the middle of this uh, little pass passage. Um, 
Like, it, it gets pretty narrow right here, but it takes you from one side of the pond to the other. Well, there's an island in the middle, so it gets pretty narrow right here. And that one I just caught on the paws. He hit it on the paws. But that's bass number two on the top water action. Nice hookup ratio. And that again was on the back one. Let's cast over to where we caught this last one at. It's a little to the left, but in that same general area. I'll do another cast right on top of it. Let me try to get out on this point right here. This point looks pretty juicy. There we go. Oh, wow. This looks pretty juicy. Man, I'm surprised we haven't got bit yet. I thought for sure we was going to catch something back here. This is like a spot that doesn't get fished very often too. All right, let's try. Let's try back over here again. Oh, something just missed it. Just missed it. Let's see if we'll come back for it. Nice blow up. But he just missed it. Come on, Bubby. I moved right when he hit. And he just missed it. As far as he didn't come back for it. Let's, let's cast back over there. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode. Uh, we were able to get on a topwater bite, which was great. Anytime I'm able to catch some bass on some topwater, I love it. I'm ecstatic. Um, we missed one. We did catch two. And then the bite just completely died once the sun came out. We didn't get any more blow-ups on the topwater. But we will definitely go out and try this again. Um, so a uh, good cicada topwater bait. I think it is. I think it is. We'll, we'll do some more testing later on to, to try and, and make sure that, you know, it, it, it is. And also do some testing with cicadas as well. But, man, when you put this up there with the uh, top water, it is uh, one of the top-notch uh, baits to you. So definitely stay tuned. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And watch out for the next episode.